hosts Barnet. It is a 4-2-3-1 formation. Former Hartlepool shotstopper Scott Loach is in goal. A back four of Jerome Binham Williams, Ben Nugent, Harry Taylor, and Alexander McQueen. In the midfield, James Dunn comes in for Wesley Fonguk. He's alongside Anthony Wordsworth. On the wings, it is Efron Mason Clark and Michael Petrasso, who comes in for Jack Connors. Uh, in behind JJ Hooper up front is number 19 Xander McBurney on the bench for the Bees 24 Eamon Azaz 2 Dwight Pascal 3 Jack Connors 14 Mohamedou Fall and 18 Wesley Fongert Ray Clements, MBE, who passed away on Sunday the 15th of November at the age of 72. Rest in peace, Ray. Man underneath it, and now it's back with Scott Loach, the former England under-21 international, former player of the year at Hartlepool. Much loved by both sets of fans this evening. And thoroughly enjoyed his time up in the North East, by all accounts. Mason Clark to McBurney. Back to Mason Clark. He can just drive at the defence here. A few step overs. Left foot is shot. Comes out to McBurney. McBurney's shot is towards the far post. Mickey Petrasso heads over. A great chance that for Barnett, Adam. Great chance. And again, good for from Mason Clark to beat his man and cut inside. And then, I mean, I thought it was actually a shot from um, Xander McBurney there. And it, it comes to, to Petrasso at the back post. And it maybe he just doesn't quite expect it and it or he should do better but he just maybe didn't think it was going to come he didn't quite get over it did he and he just got under it and headed it over the bar but a chance here again chance now for Hartlepool to get the ball in here's Hollihan chance for Oates cuts back beats Harry Taylor but his shot is wayward and not troubling Scott Loach first real chance for Hartlepool there Adam yeah good from good from Harry from a, from a Barnet point of view to just put him under enough pressure all he could do was really poke and, it, and he pokes wide that probably quite helpful but he did poke wide because the referee had given an advantage and then he pulled it back for a free kick it would have been a free kick in a dangerous position 25 minutes on the clock still goalless at the hive Fongak is under this but he's Looks to be tripped by Johnson, but Barnett can bring the ball forward. Here's Efron Mason Clark with one man in front of him. He's going to cut back inside. Looks to shoot left footed, and it's a good chance, but it's just over Ravas's goal. We've seen that so many times from Efron Mason Clark. He's not afraid to shoot from that kind of position if you, if you give him enough time and space. Absolutely. He did well. He sold two Hartlepool players there, and he's got away from him. Good effort. He can have a bit of confidence from that. Um, Never really troubling the keeper, but it's, it's promising, and that's bright from Efron. Quicker than Usain Bolt, is, which I'm sure he uses on all of his social profiles, but Hartlepool looked to bring the ball forward here. It's a miss shot, and it strikes a Barnet player. They claim for a handball, Crawford, but nothing given. Ball in from Oates is just oh, aimless from Nugent, really. He had so much time. No shout, though. It's a cheap corner. It for a Barnet. It's just a cheap oh, corner. Maybe he, corner. Needed, maybe he needed time. A shout just to say he had it. Here comes the replay about with the shot. Uh, it looks like it doesn't strike a hand for sure. Um, but it won't be impressed to give away that kind of cheap corner. Got to defend as well as they have done so far from the corners. Seeing the train formation from this corner. In, for, for in swinger, headed away by Dunn. We'll look, we'll look to recycle. They do it well with Ferguson, but his 
cross is not ideal, but Hartlepool still coming forward here, and Dunn has to put his foot through it towards Mikey Petrasso. Wins the header, and it's a foot race. And blow for half time, and he's second now. <laughs> We're just waiting patiently. Loach kicks it forward, and there is the half time whistle from Mr. Middleton. It's nil nil between Barnet and Hartlepool in this Vanarama National League fixture. Wordsworth infield to Fonga. He will get a toe on this and sets away Hooper. A little bit of a late challenge, and the referee plays advantage. Here's Petrasso running at goal under pressure from Cass. Petrasso cuts inside, right footed shot. It's simple for Ravas, who does need a couple of opportunities to bring it under full control, but that was a great chance for Barnet and a shot on goal. Dunn did well to get across and uh, slide to get it away. But yeah, as you say, a bit of pressure now. Comes out again. Even that clearance doesn't quite run to Hooper. Here comes Featherstone infield to Crawford his right footed shot has Loach scrambling but the ball goes past his left hand post and it will be a Barnet goal kick good yeah. opportunity that for Hartlepool and hopefully for Barnet the end of the Hartlepool pressure for yeah him. and both sides are going to have moments in this second half Aaron and Loach he did have to scramble it it's close on reflection um, just past the post but yeah I think Barnet did well to defend they've just got to be careful when with their strikes on the edge of the box it's Hooper doesn't win his header. Johnson wins it at the second chance. McQueen. Mason Clark under a little bit of pressure. Needs a, an option in Amber. Has it in James Dunn, who takes a couple of goes to try and play the ball forward, but can't quite. Loose touch there from Donaldson. Allows Fonguk to surge forward. And here's Alexander McQueen. Back to the skipper Dunn. Fonguk now. Barnett playing it quickly. Causing uh, Har Harley Paul a lot of issues and... Mason Clark's low shot is always going wide, but Ravas just had to make sure. Yeah, better from from Barnet. Um, this is the West Fongook you want to see, getting the ball, trying to dance through, but he does well just to check back and give it to, to James Dunn, and then F can pick the ball up, and he has a strike just wide in the end. Game with the free kick opportunities they've had. There's just no one on the end of Nugent's header, but Barnet will come again through Wordsworth, turns and plays in Mason Clark. Mason Clark's done. Done across to Binham Williams. A little bit of space. Will he try a shot here? Binham Williams. He does! And it rattles just over the crossbar. What an effort that was from Jerome Binham Williams. You knew the minute he got the ball, he was going to hit it. And uh, so he did. And whistles over the crossbar. But a, a good effort. Let me take another look at that shot. 30 yards or so out and into the vacant Bees Terrace. Always rising, that one. Sadly. It was indeed McQueen. Here's Oates to Fusu. In field. Here's Ferguson. And that's probably not the one man Hartlepool wouldn't have wanted that chance to fall to is the left back. Because that was a good chance, that. He, for he, he probably should have done better, Aaron, um, with the chance. It was a, probably one of the clearest openings Hartlepool have had all evening. And no power on it. And easy for Loach in the end. Here comes Maguire. Bringing the ball forward. His long ball is towards Afosu. And it's played down to Ferguson. His cross is towards the far post. It's important that doesn't go almost into his own goal from Nugent. Great opportunity. A, a real killer ball that from Ferguson on his left hand side. In the end, good defending from Ben Nugent Aaron just to flick the ball away. And then it, I don't think the Artlepool man was expecting it. It just sort of hit his chest. Potential calls for a hand ball. I'm sure we'll get a replay of that when the uh, ball goes out of play. But Hartlepool do well to get out of a tricky situation and win themselves a corner. Here's that chance again, Adam. Yeah, it was it was good play from Hartlepool. They found some space down down the sides of Barnet in the last 10 minutes or so. And look at that. Is it, if Nugent doesn't flick it, then the man can just go and attack it at the back post. But a corner to defend for Barnet. Um, that's going to be the important thing here now. Absolutely. Nugent did well, all things considered. Here is Hartlepool player back. Ford. And now he gets it back again. Looking to deliver the ball from deep. It's going to get to Hollihan. Shouldn't really have got to him. And his low shot, cross comes shot, has to be dealt with by Taylor, who concedes a throw in in the process. But again, Barnett have to throw their bodies on the line here to keep hold of that clean sheet and that point. It's good defending again by Harry Taylor. Uh, great defending. Afosu 
skips inside, beats three Barnet players, and now plays it out to the right hand side. Here's Molyneux. Ben and Williams gets in the way of his shot. And it will now be another corner. The pressure is unrelenting from the monkey hangers. Yeah, they're, we... they're having a really good spell, Aaron. Um, just seem to be finding a couple of gaps along the sides. Barnet will want to try and eradicate that because they look dangerous. Here's McQueen's header is through towards Wordsworth. Flicked on to Fowl. Tries to bring it under control, and he does. Back to Wordsworth. Little Cruyff turn and, and gives himself a yard of space. Here's Fongook now. This is a chance for Barnett. He's got Ephraim Mason Clark in a load of space over on the left hand side. Running into the box. Going to get a shot away. He does. It clips the Hartlepool man Ferguson. It goes behind for a corner kick and that was a good opportunity that for Barnett. Yeah good and much better from Barnett and the thing is when you've got the likes of Wes and F on the pitch you can always break away at pace and F does the right thing. Um, tries to beat his man and then has a shot and yeah, deflects wide a chance if we can get the set piece right, Aaron. Certainly can. Here is James Dunn. To foul. Ball in the box. Cuts back inside. Still with the ball. Mohamed foul. Gets a shot away and Ravas has to be quick down to his left hand side. Would have been a chance for foul to open his Barnet account, but the Slovakian six foot four.